in our embassy and is the Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. As you all know, the ICCP will always have a special place in my heart. As your efforts and contribution was and always will be of great assistance. In the deepening of the ties that join our with countries together, I believe that ICCP is a great asset to all of us. Dear friends, back in 2011, when I arrived here in the Philippines, we had limited economic ties. We urge our governments to take advantage of the economic opportunities of the Philippines. And I'm glad that they took heed of our request. With the nomination of non-resident economic attaché, Mr. Don Hemo, which actually is with us tonight. Thank you for coming. And with, together with him, we opened the economic department in the embassy in Manila. I'm sure these actions will continue to amplify the economic relations between our two countries. The past three years have been fruitful and prosperous for the bilateral relations between our two countries. And through this period, has seen much progress and development in our international cooperation programs, Mashab, as well as the sector sectors of trade, security, and tourism. The Air Services Agreement between the State of Israel and the Federal Philippines, which was signed last month, is expected to encourage both countries to explore each other's tourist destinations. According to what we heard this morning from the CEO of the Philippine Air Ramon and that in coming December, they will start flying to Israel. I'm sure all of you are going to buy the first ticket day the promotion. In the defense sector, we have signed bilateral agreements which have paved the way for more opportunities for the Israeli military industries. These agreements and the growing economic cooperation has brought with the many high-level visits to Israel, such as of Vice President Jomar Binay, Department National Defense Secretary Jasmine, and forces of the Philippine Chief of Staff Emmanuel Bautista, and most recently Department of Foreign Affairs Secretary Alberto Rosales. This is the first visit of Israel to Israel of the Philippine Foreign Secretary in more than 20 years. And doing and during this visit, both sides agreed and unexpected cooperation in many fields such as science, technology, and innovation. We also welcome high-level visits from the private sector, which have widened the scope of potential partnership in many fields. This visit shows our Filipino friends the many opportunities they have to do business with the state of Israel. Dear friend, I would like to, to thank special thanks to some friends and the ICCP, my dear friend David which is uh, with you for the, my first two years, we built uh, measures of cooperation between us. And to then Director General Credit Sarpati and then President with both of you, I think that uh, we put uh, the, the milestones of our board, we paved the way for a uh, uh, cooperation for between the ICCP and the Embassy of Israel. And for you, Ayan, my friend, and all the board of directors, I wish you all of you uh, success. Your success is our success, and I'm sure my, that my successor, Efe uh, de will join you in your effort to promote and make more business with the, between our two countries. In more, in more personal notes, my wife Eddie and I glad that we were able to partake in strengthening the bond between our nations and it, it makes us feel proud that in the 
three years we have stayed here, there have been many achievements. As we go back to our family and friends in Israel, we are taking with us the wonderful and memorable experience we have, we have shared with all of you. And we are thankful for the warmth and hospitality you have shown to us. Thank you very much and see you in Israel.